In this video, we're going to talk about virtual addresses. What are they? How do they work? How are they different from a physical address? Why might a business need one in particular? Coming up next. G'day, Brandon. Thank you so much for helping me Hi, with this. Hi, My understanding is you run an association of people who are in the virtual address space. I am. Uh, it's a trade association called Retail Shipping Associates. We have about 7,000 retail pack and ship business centers throughout the U.S. Okay, so you're the guy who knows. Let me ask you my question. What is a virtual address? Well, first of all, it's not email. Right. It is a physical address, however. Out of those 7,000 members we've got around the country, we have service providers for the virtual mailbox. Um, in all 50 states. But it is a physical address. It's staffed by professionals that okay. actually handle mail and packages. So we're talking about one of those pack and ship stores I see when I'm driving around. Precisely. Okay, good. So uh, why is a virtual address such an important thing, particularly for a business? Well, think of the cost to open a business and to support an office. The expense there can be huge. Yep. With a virtual mailbox, it's a pure fraction of that. But Importantly, if you're, uh, if you're expanding a business, you may need a presence in a specific city or state. Right. And with a virtual mailbox, it allows you to establish a physical street ad address presence in that city or state. So this isn't a post office box, because you can't establish a business based around one. This is a real address. Absolutely. A P.O. box at the post office is actually a P.O. box. These are private mailboxes at private businesses staffed and operated by business owners. OK, this makes a lot of sense. As a business owner, I make, this makes sense to me. Now, let's say I'm outside America. Let's say I'm in Australia, which is where I come from. What if I would need to create a virtual USA address? Uh, can the system help me there? Well, that's one of the reasons the system was designed for people like yourself that may be in another country but need a physical presence in the U.S. to transact business. And it really doesn't matter if you actually get mail or packages, frankly. You may just need the address. Right. Right, just for the documentation. Absolutely. All right, so how do I get one of these virtual addresses? Well, you go to ipostal1.com mm -hmm. and you find the service provider in the city or the state that you need that presence. So I can pick where I want to be. You can pick anywhere you want to be. Oh, this, is, this is a good, this and, is a good dreaming game. I and like you're this. not limited to one. Many business owners have multiple addresses because they need presence in certain states around the U.S. All right, this makes a lot of sense. So if I need a virtual address, if I want to start, so to speak, a business in New York and L.A., this is going to be a really good way to do that. Uh, it sounds expensive. How much does this thing cost? It's, it's ridiculously affordable. For about $10 a month, you can start a virtual mailbox. Service. That sounds like a business expense I can handle. I think you can. So much. I appreciate your, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate your insight here. Uh, for those who'd like to find out more about virtual address, how you get one, uh, or to grab your very own, please head over to ipostal1.com. Everything you need is there. You can sign up and have your own $10 a month virtual address across the United States.